What's up guys, Kennedy here. Today we are opening up another project. Uh, I had two reasons to buy all these parts that you can see here. Uh, these were bought online. Reason number one was uh, just my goal. Another project of $250, like MTB for $250. Uh, all these parts that you can see uh, bought online uh, would cost me like $150 with the shipping. So we have still a $100 uh, left. For this project and reason number two was that i found a reasonably cheap this is a vintage bike that's right but very nice uh, frame set because we have a bianchi uh, rcx 302 this is a alloy uh, an alloy uh, frame with uh, just uh, like steel uh, fork which i'm really happy about uh, those forks in those days, uh, also today, in like very cheap bikes, were made of two uh, kinds of steel. Uh, the cheaper one was high ten, and the, the better one is chromoly. This one was chromoly, is chromoly. So we have like chromoly um, uh, fork with the aluminum frame, and this frame made by Bianchi is a cool, really cool, cool frame, and I think. Um, it's really worthy to to upgrade it even for more than a hundred dollars but let's just make it like very budget bike um, and we'll then compare what can we uh, purchase for 250 in store today and what can we build from those parts here and when I'm buying that cheap uh, bike I'm not even asking the seller about the condition of the drivetrain because usually uh, we just replace everything uh, but it turns out that uh, in this bike the drivetrain is just okay. Uh, the extension of the chain is not more than uh, one, uh, like 0.5%. It's not even 0.5, but it's close to it. So with the steel cassette, it's still okay. So we don't have to change the chain. The cassette is like uh, seven gears and three gears uh, on our crank set. Uh, components are Shimano Alivio with uh, Shimano STX uh, derailleur. Yeah, that's something that happened when I was fighting with, struggling with, with some uh, bolts on this, um, uh, with, on this uh, frame set, but it's okay now. There, there was some rust on, uh, on the bolts. Uh, the wheels are just fine. I will show you how to, uh, how to make a overhaul of those hubs. These are Joytech. The rims, the braking surface is just okay. So there is almost nothing like we have to change, replace. Uh, I'm already uh, done with uh, buying uh, all these uh, cables and housings because we do it each time we buy so old bike. Uh, yeah, we have to uh, replace also the bottom bracket because it doesn't really spin anymore. And now the question is, I was already asking uh, my viewers on the uh, Polish channel, what should we do with the hundreds of dollars that we can still spend on this bike. Should we like replace the, the hub uh, and build some 2x9 or 1x10 uh, bike? Uh, we're gonna do it very simple because it has to be cheap and also very simple and light, uh, just as light as possible. The bike, as you can see here, it weighs 12.6 kilos, so it's not a lot. Uh, it's kind of uh, kind of okay, but uh, to go down like below 12 kilos would be really really nice. So uh, this is just uh, startup. I'm gonna show you uh, in another episode, like after maybe four or five days, what I've already purchased for this bike, and then we'll just build it. Um, then question for you: What would you do with this frame set? What would you spend those hundred of dollars uh, for? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm not going to paint this frame because the frame is in quite good shape and it would be really shame to lose all those Eduardo Bianchi uh, signs. It's look, it looks uh, really cool. Aluminum uh, 7005 uh, Superset 2 Bianchi exclusive. It's just nice. Um, here we have some just paint chips. It's, it's nothing bad. We'll just put some uh, some protection here on the chainstay and that's it. So there will be no paint job on this one. We'll just uh, keep it uh, original and I'm waiting for you guys in the comments um, and we'll see how it, how it goes for us. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.